This episode of Beacon 003 is brought to you by HostGator. Go to HostGator.com and at checkout enter the coupon code Beacon003YT. What is up guys? Beacon003 here. Other way. My bad. Today I'm going to be doing a top 10 iPad apps. I recently did a top 10 iPhone apps and you guys seem to like it so that was actually my first iPhone one and this is going to be my first iPad one I will start doing this every once in a while since you guys seem to really like it I'm going to start doing it so let's get right in to the apps I have written down on this little piece of paper and you don't get to see them unless you can read them backwards through the light, see? Yeah. I believe there's actually 11 on here, but I'm still gonna call it 10, okay? Because that's really, like, that's how I roll. Who wants to say top 10, 11, top 10, 11, no. Top 11 iPad apps. That doesn't, doesn't sound good. Top 10 iPad apps, 2011, come right up. Okay, guys, let's get right into the review. I don't... First one we have, um, some of these that I'm going to review come on the device. Um, it is iMessage or Messages on the iPad. Um, basically, it's text messaging for the iPad. You can text iPods, iPhones, other iPads, um, if they have iOS 5 using iMessage. So it is very nice. You just basically type a message. Hi. Send. It sends hi. Uh, it'll say delivered right here. And it'll also say read um, if they read it. If I can zoom in here, we can right there. Read. So one of those is read, one of them's delivered. The other he has not read it yet. So after he reads it, it'll pop up there, obviously. Um, the next one we have is called Five Dash O Radio uh, HD. Sorry if you can hear the scanner in the background. There's a fire going down, and yeah. Anyway. Uh, so I'll actually be able to listen to the fire going down right now. So it's 5-0 radio HD. It does cost, I think is a free version. Um, we're going to listen to my county on here. Sometimes your county will have it and sometimes it won't. So you should be able to hear them once they start talking. So obviously there it is. Okay, so I'm going to stop that. Um, so that is very nice if you want to listen. They also make an iPhone app for it. Um, I rely on that a lot. If I see police car going by, fire truck, ambulance, open that app, bam. It tells them what's going on here. Um, the next one we have, which was also in my iPhone review, please watch that, the top 10 iPhone apps. Um, it is called Flipboard. Very nice, clean, easy way to browse different categories. Um, in this case, I picked technology. Well, let's pick this article. I'm, I'm interested about it. You read about it? Um, do you... Notes? No, we don't want to do that. Um, go back. So, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Let's win a 8 tablet, whatever that is. Okay. Win 8 tablet marker makers. Ooh, Microsoft. Ooh, stay away from that. Anyway, <laughs> that is Flipboard. Very nice, easy way to view news. Highly recommended. Um, that is free. The next one I have here is a weather app. It is called the Weather Channel. Um, it is very clean, nice app. They just updated it, so it's 
it's pretty nice. Um, let's see if we can go to maps. You can view the radar. Um, if we go back to weather. Okay, tells us where we're at here. That's actually not where I'm at, but that's one of the places I have programmed to look at. Scroll through here. Tells you multiple different things. Um, go to settings. You can do conversions. Um, connect your uh, accounts to it. Um, so, very nice weather app, especially for the iPad. They did, they do have it for the iPhone too, but it doesn't. It's it's nice, I guess, but I definitely like it better on the iPad. The next one we have is called Doodle Buddy. Um, I was actually for New Year's Eve we hooked the iPad up to the TV because we were playing games that you know you had to draw and they have to guess what it is. Everybody that had an iPad there was like, "Oh, what's what's that app? What's that app? What's that app?" I'd keep telling them it is called Doodle Buddy. Um, you can change the backgrounds of it, brick. Uh, you can O X X. I'm um, X is X. I win, uh huh. Um, so it's it's very nice if you like drawing, playing games. Nice little thing to draw on there. The next one we have is actually a game. It is called Bike Baron. I believe this one costs ninety nine cents. Okay, so that's a better one. This is a little, a little, oh, there's a fire in the kitchen of the American Legion. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, hard to keep it in the frame here. Okay, this is, I'm not very good at this game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, don't shoot me. It's okay. Um, oh, man. People keep going in and going out. The firemen's get mad. Anyway. Um. The next one I have is called 2XL Rally HD, which is right next to Back Bear, actually. It's another game. Um, I got this when I first got my iPad 1, so a while back. Uh, when my grandpa got his iPad, I hooked him up with this. He loves it. I believe this one does cost 99 cents as well, but definitely worth it. I am... See. Oh, here we go. I am definitely. I I can do this game in front of a camera. I don't know, but I unlike Bike Baron, I can actually do it. Your friend gets started there. Let me play basically regular, and it tells you what's coming up, like Overcrest right here. Easy right. Um. Intermediate left, woo. Okay, so you get the point. Very nice, very nice racing game. Um, let's see. The next one we have is called Log Me In Ignition. So, if I can find where I put it, I'm not very good at putting things right here. Um, this is so basically you can remote control your computers. Um, I'm going to log into my computer. So if I'm on one computer, I don't want to too lazy to go back to the next one to do something. I just log in on here. Um, okay, so you have your little mouse here. It's diff They have one for the iPhone too. It's a little different. Uh, here's your little mouse. Let's go ahead and minimize this. You have a right click and a right, uh, left click and a right click. Um, you can also zoom. Which off my mouse here, minimize. So there's your computer. So it also on the computer says, "Hey, yeah, this can computer is being controlled from blah 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 blah." So that is log me in. Sorry, I had to block that out. It had some information on it. The Next one is, which is weird about Apple on this part, on their part on this one, 
I can't talk today, I'm sorry, is calculator. Apple did not put a calculator on the iPad, which I believe is kind of kind of weird. You know, I had the light version. Um, I'm not going to pay for a calculator. I think Apple should have put it on there. But, you know, they didn't. So, it does work. 5 plus 5 equals 15. Oh. Well, I'm sure it's right. I guess I'm not. Okay, anyway. It does work. It does all different stuff. I don't know what all those symbol means. That's the squared. That's the square root. That's all I know. Sorry, can't help you with anything else. So that is calculator. I imagine it's called calculator HD since there's an HD sign there. But don't count me on that one. It is, I had it on my first iPad so it's an older app. There's probably better ones. Um, but, I don't know. The next one I have, also an iPhone app, most of these are, is called AeroWeather. It is basically four pilots. Um, tells you the weather of places. So let's refresh. Um, right now it's saying we need a visual. Let's see. See it? You have to have your license for a visual, which all pilots have to have their visual rating. So we'll click there. Um, it tells you everything about it. Uh, let's see. It'll tell you the wind. It tells you the clouds, how far they are, a light rain, mist, you can stop to read all that if you want to do, but I'm not going to read it. Basically, whatever pilots need to know, it is on this app. This is the light version, there is a pro ver ver version. Um, I'm not quite sure what the differences are. Um, obviously not a big difference if I did not buy it. Uh, the next one we have, the last one we have who buddy is another one that comes on the iPad newsstand very easy way to get your magazines newspapers whatever right on your iPad upstate every day uh, if they come out with a new issue every day automatically downloads them um, here are three magazines I have I only am subscribed to two which is I create and apps so let's go ahead and go into iCreate, which I just finished reading these guys uh, today, actually. I'm like, well, you know, I haven't read them yet this month. They come out with a new issue once a month. Um, both of these magazines do. Some magazines come out. No. Yeah, anyway, I don't know if I'm allowed to show magazines like this. But there it is. Those are ads at the end. There's ads. Um... Don't run Windows on your Mac, that's awful. Now, if you run Windows on your Mac, don't get mad at me for saying that. Sorry, my bad. But, you know, I guess if you have to run Windows, that's the only way to run it is on a Mac. So I guess I would understand that. So you do have to pay a subscription for these. Um, I pay every, I pay a six month subscription for both of these. Um, you can change them to auto renew and not to auto renew. Um, but I'm gonna quit logging in because it still thinks I'm controlling my computer, but I'm not. So you can pay your subscriptions also, but I'd rather pay the six months in case I don't want to spend that much money at one time. Um, I would recommend Apps Magazine. I would not recommend I Create it unless you need you want to know stuff for the Mac. Um, I am not gonna subscribe to this when my subscription is up. I'm going to keep subscribing to Ma Apps Magazine. <laughs> So guys, thanks for watching. Sorry it wasn't. I I'm not feeling the greatest today. Um, anyway, I got yelled at in my last video for talking how I felt and uh, rambling on at the end. So I'm gonna end this video. Sorry, may not have been as interesting as the iPhone apps. There's a lot of more, a lot more interesting apps for the iPhone. Uh, but I didn't want to review the same apps that I did on my iPhone for the iPad because it's like, you know, that, that's just wrong. So, anyway, please watch that video. It was the last video that goes to my channel. And I never say this in my videos, but please subscribe. It really helps me out. Like. Um, I've never said that. I never, maybe on my first videos I did, but I don't. So, again, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Begin003, and we will catch you later.